So, I was standing in a pit once, mm -hmm. talking to a guy about video games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though there were a lot of heavy equipment around, I mean, there was. We could still, e we could still hear each other pretty clearly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said in a grandiose manner, I want a game that has a world, a huge world that you can just move around in and do mm -hmm. stuff and interact with people and mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And this guy was like, yeah, you mean like the real world. You are describing the real world. Mm -hmm. And I was forced to respond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I admit that I take... I took responsibility for how stupid and short-sighted my previous statement had been. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How I had blindly stumbled into the irony, not cleverly engineered it. Mm -hmm. So I just had to take my lumps and move on, learning a tiny little mosquito-like stinging mm -hmm. lesson from mm -hmm. the incident. <laughs> Previously on Monday night, open parentheses, almost, close parentheses, live. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, I'm looking for you. I've been calling everywhere since I found out that the video shoot was canceled. Yeah. I was worried about you. All right. Fine. Well, I just checked my answering machine. It's customary to ask permission. He was frame kid again, and now when he threatens me, he uses profanity. So would I. I want to take this time to say that this is real whiskey here. David Letterman. David Letterman. Oh! Uh, oh yeah! Cut that off! Music is a violation of my personal privacy! He's breaking the law! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alvarez. location somewhere in the southern United States of America. The show is called Monday Night Almost Live. That's an abbreviated title. The spirits are strong tonight. They are in the air tonight. There's a werewolf out there somewhere. There's a ghost right over there. Hi, how are you? Let's walk in here and open a window. 
I'll show you what's right outside the door. Hey, how you guys doing? Let me open this window right here. Check this out. Lots of zombies. Give me a go, no go. Booster. Go. Retro. Go. Pancakes. We go five. Guidance. Guidance go. Christmas lights. Go black. Egon. We go black. Aroma tuner. We go. Picture of Dorian Gray. Go. Picture of Aaron Gray. Go. Nine lives. Go. Cat size. Go. Abusing every one of them and running wild. We all go. Network. Go. Capcom. Go. Doomsday. We go fly. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go down to the local grocery store. Let's go down to the local grocery question by a newspaper. And the decision was whether to tell a lie Thank you. or to... Uh, Telling the truth, you know. Thank you. So, this is the conclusion to Mayberry's uninvited guest. So, Andy and Barney were going to the source of the scream that they heard. Andy makes a guess to the general area that the noise came from. Right? And they split up to walk the edge of the woods. They encounter a werewolf. After a blazing gun battle, Barney saves the day by shooting the werewolf with a silver bullet that he just happened to have in his gun. You see, he and Opie were playing Lone Ranger last week, and you can connect the dots yourself. The werewolf turned out to be Goober, the end. Okay. Now, down that that's out of the way. Let's get down to the latest news. This is the latest news about Miley Cyrus and the Transnational Bank building. Well, it seems that Miley Cyrus and the Transnational Bank building were... This... Is that what I thought it was? Yes. There comes the giant. This is going to have to be put on hold for a minute. 
go to the window and open it. Okay. Okay. What is the password? Password is invisible. Thank you. There he goes. Each stride is probably about 15 feet, maybe 20 feet. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so he's giving me this week's trivia challenge. Six questions. I need to get a piece of paper to write down my answers on. Okay, question number one. Television. What game shows panelists for its first season Numbered Kitty Carlisle, Polly Bergen, High Gardener, and Hildy Parks. Super. Uh, who's 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 trying to? What's the name of? What's my line? What's my line? Stage and screen. Who wanted to phone home? <laughs> Who wanted to phone home? E.T. phone home. Okay, nightly news. What TV star discovered he wasn't made of steel when he shot and killed himself on June 16th, 1959? Wow. George Reeve... Z with an S. George Reeves. Yes. George Reeves with an S. Publishing. What magazine was Playboy's Hugh Hefner holding when he appeared on the November 1976 cover of Esquire? Well, my first guess would be Playboy, but it's probably a trick question. Life and Times. What couple was reunited publicly with Queen Elizabeth on June 7th, 1967? For the dedication of a memorial to Queen Mary. What couple was reunited publicly with Queen Elizabeth with Queen Elizabeth on the States. 1967. What couple? Sonny and Cher, yeah. Sonny and Cher. RPM, what Beatles album's third cut on side one was across the universe? That would be what Beatles album's third cut on side one was Across the Universe? The White Album, right? No. Now let's see how he did. Turning the card over. Number one, to tell the truth. I said, what's my line? Wrong. Number uh, E.T. I said E.T., so I got that one right. So that's one right. George Reeves, I got that right, too. Hustler. Wow. Uh, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, not Sonny and Cher, and Let It Be, not... Of course! Oh, no, I gotta cut that out. No, I can't. I didn't even think about it. All right, that's the name of the game. Wee! I got two out of six. I deserve it. I didn't miss a Beatles question. I didn't even think about it. Bye. We must drink. This is Tranya. I hope you relish it as much as I.
With Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. I'm and I can't get up. Don't worry, help is on the way. In the great hall of the Justice League, there are assembled the world's four greatest heroes, created from the cosmic legends of the universe. With any of Life Alert's three emergency systems, help can be summoned immediately, and batteries never need charging. I was having a s and I was scared to death. If it weren't for Life Alert, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Life Alert is a My husband is a because of Life Alert. Life Alert is the lifesaver to keep out of Life Alert saves a life every 11 minutes. For a free Life Alert, Life Alert, Life Alert, Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-901-2828. That's 1-800-901-2828. 28, 28. Life Alert, 2828. 28. Call now, 1-800-901-2828. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. Life Alert. Superman's supposed to say, oh, hi, Lex. Good evening to you. What are you up to? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Corny Christopher Reeve Superman cannot exist in 2016. We know that. Right. But this movie, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, they're, they're trying to do a thing where, where they say, what if... Superman really existed in modern day. Mm -hmm. There would be people going, he's a, he's a, he's a monster, he's here to destroy us. There would be, everyone wouldn't be like, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's Superman. Everyone wouldn't be like that. There would be people on CNN arguing back and forth about this and that, and there'd be blah, blah, blah. But we don't need that. We live that every day <laughs> over every, <laughs> movies are about escapism. Yeah. And we don't need to see well, especially, miserable people on CNN and yeah. complaining about politics and in a Superman movie. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. I'm going home. Home. home.